This video was created by Vinyl Lake Puma of Vinyl Lake Puma Gaming. What's going on everybody? This is Vinyl Lake Puma and today I'm back with another Fallout 4 video for you guys. Today we are going to be doing a weapon analysis slash review and we'll also show you the location of where you can get the lever action rifle. Now just a quick summary before we get into this video. Um, like the harpoon gun, this is going to be a good gun for normal mode. However, for survival mode, I won't recommend it, but I will get into more of why that is as we go through the video. So let's go. The lever action rifle can be suppressed, which makes it ideal for like a sneak rifleman type character. However, the biggest problem with the lever action rifle is the 4570 caliber ammo. And in survival mode, it weighs 0 0.070 pounds per bullet. And this equates to about 14 bullets per pound. And that's rounded down from about 14.3, if you do the math exactly. Uh, now, considering that the damage ranges from 35 to 78 uh, for the fully upgraded version, which is on that high end, uh, this should give you a total damage expenditure per pound value of like 490 to 1,000. 1092. This isn't quite as bad as the harpoons on the harpoon gun, um, but it is still not particularly great. Now, while you're getting more damage than what the 45, 308, and even 50 caliber rounds are capable of on their high ends, the biggest drawback of this ammo type is just the high weight of the ammo. Um, now, it is worth mentioning that the 4570 government rounds are better than the 50 caliber rounds entirely, both in terms of their potential damage that they can deal and the actual weight of the ammo. 50 caliber rounds weigh more than 4570 government rounds. The lever action rifle itself weighs about 11 pounds stock. Uh, you can get this lower with short barrels and small stocks. However, the suppressed version that you're seeing in this particular video weighs 16.2 pounds, which is on the high end of the weight spectrum. The stock value of this gun is at about 231 bottle caps. The upgraded version I'm using in this video however is about 599. Um, this gives us a value to weight ratio of roughly like 21 to 36 bottle caps per pound. This is well above average. Actually it's even outstanding for a ballistic type rifle. Uh, this might be the best ballistic rifle to loot and sell to vendors if you see one and you aren't a rifleman perk user. As for my final verdict, uh, this is another weapon like the harpoon gun that would be good in normal mode, however, kind of bad in survival mode. And that's just thanks to the 4570 caliber ammo being so heavy. And that's mainly because the amount of damage you could potentially deal is really too low to justify carrying ammo uh, that is this heavy. That said, it is relatively cheap to buy if you can find vendors that sell it. As for normal mode players out there, you can suppress this thing, which makes it good for stealth combat. And really the only rifle that is better than the lever action rifle is the Gauss rifle at this point. And it's like leagues better. I mean, we're talking on the high end, 192 damage as opposed to 78 damage on your lever action rifle. At the same time, the two millimeter electromagnetic ammo that you need to use the Gauss rifle is expensive as crap. And that is actually also heavier than the 4570 caliber rounds if you're in survival mode. Uh, now, at the same time, uh, the damage expenditure per pound on two millimeter electromagnetic is still better, even though you can carry less ammo per pound uh, than your 4570 caliber. So one more time to just sum everything up. If you're playing in a difficulty that ammo weight doesn't matter, uh, go with the lever action rifle. However, if it does matter, um, don't use the lever action rifle. Anyway, guys, so that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. As always, take care and I'll see y'all next time.